Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State has said what the Igbo are asking for are equity, justice, and level playing ground because of their stake in Nigeria. Uzodima said secession is out of the demands of the Igbo people, the Guardian reported. It was gathered that the Imo State Governor made this known while addressing members of syndicate, one of the Executive Intelligence Management Corps, EIMC, 14 of the National Institute for Security Studies, NISS, at the Government House, Oweri, the state capital, on Wednesday, April 21st. Governor Uzodima reiterated that the ethnic group was not in support of any form of a breakup. The governor said the recent security breaches in the southeast geopolitical zone did not imply that Indubu were tired of being part of Nigeria. His words, all we want is justice, equity and fairness in a big Nigerian family. Succession is not on the table. Anyone championing that does not represent Indubu. We have a great stake in the United Nigeria and will not be party to any scheme that will bring division among us. All we want is equity, justice, and a level playing ground that allows life to let live. Earlier, the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group, or Hanese Indubo, rubbished the quest to succeed from Nigeria by IPOB under the leadership of Namdi Kanu. According to the President General of the organization, Ohanese Indubo, Professor George Obiozo Kanu and his conspirators have made people pointed accusing fingers at Igbos as secessionist punch newspaper reports obiozo disclosed this at a grand reception in his honor or by indigo in lagos he insisted that indigo were not at war with nigeria however the former nigerian ambassador to the united states insisted that the indigo will continue to speak and seek justice peace and fairness in all their dealings with, with everybody in Nigeria. Obi also said, the Igbo nation is not at war with Nigeria and we are not intending to go into war or demand a separate existence from Nigeria, so Igbo are not secessionists. Meanwhile, the Minister of Information and Culture, Alhaji Lai Mohammed, says, People agitating for secession will be the first to flee the country if such agitation leads to crisis. Mohammed, who spoke on Sunday, April 18, in Lagos, when he appeared on Born FM radio program, urged Nigerians not to listen to promoters of secession, the cable reported. The minister said those who support separation and secession will be the force to run away when any problem starts. We should not listen to them as many of them have about four passports of other countries. Mohammed insisted that secession is not the solution to the challenges facing Nigeria. According to Vanguard, the minister pointed out that issues in the country such as ethnicity activities by the extremist group and farmer headers clashes are not new. Mohammed explained that rather than going or calling for separation, Nigerian must look for a way forward. That is what Mohammed has said. The Minister of Information and Culture in Nigeria said he does not support secessionists. And he explained that rather than calling for separation, Nigeria must look forward for a way that will lead us ahead of peace. 
Well, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about what has been said. Namdi Udeozo said, If succession is not the problem, then fix the problem. Fix marginalization. Fix nepotism. Fix bad leadership. Fix fulanization agenda. Stop Islamization agenda. Nigeria doesn't belong to a particular tribe or religion. Face people's grievances and address it. We are tired of your grammar. We want positive, sincere steps. Otherwise, you will wake up one morning and discover there is no Nigeria. This is what Nandi Odeozo has said that if the problem of Nigeria is not succession, then you fix what the problem is. You fix marginalization, you fix bad leadership, you fix nepotism, and many others. Because Nigeria does not belong to a particular tribe or religion. Well, this is true, and I agree with it 100%, but it is the overflow of the northern marginalization that influenced that. Why was history taken away from our school curriculum? This is because they don't want the young Igbos to know that everything their fathers and forefathers worked for was taken away from them and even the Igbos who were worth a billion pounds were given only 40 pounds and that even after they accepted that fate, the you know the northern leader or that go on to kill all the Igbos who were more than five years old and go on refused and ordered all the generals and the army chiefs leading the war against Biafrans to lay down their arms in 19, uh, 1760, pardon, if you could still recall, which was how the war ended. So let our younger ones know that this genocidal mission did not start yesterday but against all odds of hatred, religious bigotry, and even economic uh, marginalization, the Igbos will still triumph at the end. Well, let's move further and see what other people have to say about what is going on in Nigeria. Let's see what Aliyu Jimbo said that Governor Uzodima is one of the few wise Igbos who are conscious about the project. However, 98% of Igbos do not care to build any trust between them and fellow Nigerians. Instead of extending hands of friendship, they are busy abusing the Muslims and Islam, the North, the Fulanis and Hausa. As for me, I don't see how this is going to help matters. Do share your own point of view and reaction with us. We would like to know your point of view about this that is going on in Nigeria. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.